Hey YouTubers, this is Mr. Reef Buster. I'm um, coming to you today with an update on the tank. Um, I had the sub installed about two weeks ago. Uh, and I wanted to give you guys an update on how the sump is doing and how my tank is doing in general um, Now since I added the sump into the tank I did add some extra corals and anemone into the tank. So there's some new uh, um, Item in the tank new corals in the tank. I just want to show you how they're doing um, How the fishes are doing now the water test. I haven't I've done a few water tests since then Nothing very conclusive as far as a change um, due to the sump. I don't see any significant change. Maybe because the sump isn't established yet, the fusion part has to be more established. So I'm still waiting for that. Meanwhile, I did get um, and some upgraded test kits. I'll show you guys that as well. They just came a few minutes ago. So I'm going to show you guys a sump, I'll show you the new corals and um, livestock I have in the tank and I'll show you guys a sump on how that's doing as well. Um, now just quick, um, just wanted to show you guys really quick, very interesting thing, this long tube anemone that I recently got, now last night he was shrunken really really tiny like one third the size of uh, what he's looking at right now. So I decided to give him a big chunk of uh, shrimp a whole sh like half a half a shrimp and he took it in and then I guess he ate most of it and then he spat some of it out as you can see my red my peppermint shrimp outside the red shrimp he's actually eating that leftover piece he spat back out the anemone spat back out so he's he's working on that piece of shrimp I just noticed it right now so I'm guessing the piece I gave him was a little too big um, but I mean looking at him I mean the video doesn't do it justice he's really big now I was thinking I was gonna give him a whole piece of shrimp a really jumbo shrimp uh, and from his size it looks like he should be able to that you know digest it but I guess he can't so I'll stick to give, giving him smaller like make three pieces of a jumbo shrimp and give him one piece every couple of days um, and I just want to notice one more thing the pom-pom zinnias on top, they just start to branch out and as you can see there's a couple of new uh, heads that were coming out and now they start, look like they're starting to die. Now my guess is the anemone has something to do with it because the tentacles do reach or look like they could re reach those uh, the new colonies of the zinnia on the bottom. I think that's, it has something to do with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this whole colony to a different portion, a different location on the tank, and see if those guys, the ones on the bottom right there, if they come back to life. If they do, I'll know it's because of the anemone that's causing this problem. Um, as you can see, I did, I did get a new uh, frog spun, and I did get a new um, a toadstool uh, coral, and I also got a new electric torch coral as well. So we'll see how those do. Um, now I did get a SPS now most you know until now my tank has been mostly LPS and uh, soft corals and mushrooms I want to see how an SPS does on my tank so I got me a tiny frag of a raspberry montipora I'm, I got a, I got the power head right aiming right toward him so let's see what he does he's, he's all done the top getting the most of the light and the flow so let's see how he does just a small experiment and we'll see how he does and I'll add more SPS if he does good so it's a little experimentation and the and uh, the Monte pores are the hardiest SPS corals you can get that's what I saw from my research so I decided to get a Monte Pora. Um let's see how he does and we'll go from there now moving on my mushrooms are doing really good they're actually spreading out they're almost starting to take over the whole rock structure on the bottom um, I did add more sand in the tank. Now I have about two inches of live sand. Um, so that's another new thing as well. Now I'm going to pause the video. We'll go to the bottom. And let's take a look at the sump and how everything is doing. I, I do have a couple of questions for you guys if you have any answers. And we'll go, we'll go from there. Now they were in the bottom of the sump area. Now I just want to show you how the sump is doing. I have the protein skimmer running, the bubble magnus, and it's doing really good. I have it on dry skimming, so as you can see on the top, it's, pick, it's, pick, it's doing its job. I mean, it's still um, 
in the break-in period, as you, as they, as we like to say it. Um, but it's doing, it's collecting a lot of, lot, lot of gunk from the tank. I can, I can see that it's doing its job. Now, the hang on the back, poaching skimmer. That's kind of a on and off thing because the water level is changing on the sump area. So what that does is, since the bug, the hang on the back uh, intake uh, pipe doesn't go down as much, so and the water level uh, is not really cooperating with the, with the entrance of the pipe. So the pipe is not long enough. So I'm gonna have to figure something out, increase the water level in the, in the refugium section, or add extra tubing on the ent entrance right there, and make sure it goes actually dips in the water so it can suck in more water. Uh, he's right there, but as you can see, it's not really operating the way it should be. Now, I do have a I have Catamorph in there. I'm waiting for that Cater to start doing his job. Um, as you can see, the Miracle Mud is there. Now, I did have to take out my over um, auto top off system on this because of uh, space issues. I did order a new gallon. Uh, I'm getting, um, I think it's a five to eight gallon tank, a uh, little gallon I'm getting from um, Home Depot. I'm gonna be picking it up in a couple of days and I'll set up the auto top off system then. For now, I'm just manually auto topping off the system. So that's another reason why the hang on the back protein skimmer isn't really working as efficiently as I would like it. So that's, that's another thing that I'll have to you know work on. Other than that, the sump looks pretty okay. Only thing is, as you can see, the Miracle Mud is coming on to the first chamber through the opening right there on the left side. I have to figure something out so does I have no Miracle Mud on the, on the first chamber or the second chamber, I mean third chamber for that matter. There's some sand in there and I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna have to take these out put more foam sponges in there to block the sand from going into the last chamber all right guys now that we're done talking about the sump and the tank I'm gonna show you guys um, the upgraded test kits that I ordered uh, I got them from bulk reef supply supply once again uh, big shout out to them they send the item really fast and they're very reliable as always I uh, just want to go over the test kits that I ordered. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how I do the tests because there's like hundreds of videos on the test kits and how they operate. So I'm not going to bore you doing an actual test kit. What I'll do is I'll just show you the test kits. Uh, just open up the box and show you what the test kit come with. And then in the next video I do, I'll talk about the, the chemistry, the water chemistry on my tank and, you know, if they improved or not. All right, hold on a second. So as far as the new test kits, I did get the henna checkers. I've been thinking about getting these for a while, um, but the price point always uh, held me back. But after now that I started adding a lot of corals in the tank, I do need uh, specific numbers and be on top of it. Um, as uh, even even though I do like my uh, Red Sea uh, Pro test kit that I have. For, for alkalinity, alkalinity and calcium and magnesium I pr you know it's always good to have a exact reading a number reading um, now I didn't get all the test uh, test kits I only got the alkalinity and the calcium one by henna checkers and I and I got a nitrate pro test kit from Red Sea now I got all these three items from bulk resupply um, the reason I got the test kit, the nitrate pro test kit, because, um, I, you know, my nitrate was always a problem in my tank before. Now that I added the sump, I want to make sure my nitrates are going down. Uh, the sump is, sump refugium is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I'll do a test today, and in the next video I'll update you guys on the status of my nitrate. Um, I just want to show you guys what comes inside the henna checkers, the calcium test kit, and the alkalinity test kit. I wish they had a magnesium test kit, but they don't. Um, maybe they'll make one in the future. Um, so let's open it up. The box is really nice. I'm not going to lie. You know, paying $50 for an item, $51 for an item, it's it's worth it. You You get what you pay for. So as you can see, you have the test kit in here, the machine, 
all everything you need you have the solution and the syringes and the tubes and everything is there your instruction manual is right there uh, let's open up let's open up the uh, calcium one the calcium one is a little bigger box because there's more prod steps to it so you get a little bit more stuff in the in this one there you go so this is your calcium test kit the henna checker like I said very nice box premium quality finish um yeah other than that it was good I, I'm not gonna open up the nitrate pro test kit because it's, everybody knows what's already in it uh, if you look in the back this is what it has inside uh, let me zoom in if you can see properly this is a more thorough test kit for the nitrate now, even though I, I, I do use the API test kit I, I want to get a more exact reading so I purchased the Red Seed Nitrate Pro test kit and we'll go from there I'll talk about my water chemistry and the numbers for that next video I make but until then I uh, hope you guys stay safe um, I'm very busy nowadays with Pokemon Go and you make sure you're safe when you're using playing Pokemon Go every it's a frenzy you know don't drive and play Pokemon Go like I did but I won't do it anymore and take care of your reefs guys and I'll till then next time take care